Hello, hello divas, and welcome back to another video. If you're new around these parts, you are in the diva glam zone, and I am Z. So welcome back to another video. Today's video, I will be talking about my March favorites. You got that right, March favorites. Everything that I used and loved for the month of March. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First, I'm going to do skincare. So, the first thing on my list is Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip. Y'all, this brand and this cleanser is the best I've ever had. Uh, it's a gentle cleanser. It is plant-based. It's, uh, like it says, ceramic slip. It's really smooth, silky feels like silk on your skin. Um, it pulls out all of the impurities while pulling in clean hydration. How about that? So that's the first thing is Sunday Raleigh's Ceramic Slip Cleanser. And the next thing I do is I follow it up with Sunday Riley's Good Jeans. Now this is another amazing product. Uh, I'm just falling in love with Sunday Raleigh's products and um, they just been doing really, really great on my skin. So I'm really loving it. But this is a, a exfoliator for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. And this is Good Jeans. It has um, elastic acid treatment. So it is a skin treatment for you. And next on the list is again Sunday Riley skincare. Okay, and this is A plus retinol, and what it's for? It's a high dose retinol treatment, and it's for wrinkles. It's for um, a serum that has um, honey um, and a retinol blend, but it's really really good, and um, I like how it feels. I use this at night. And it's an A-plus retinol treatment, again, by Sunday Riley. Okay, the next thing I have on my list is my moisturizer. So for my moisturizer, we are using none other than Charlotte Tillsbury. This is Charlotte Tillsbury, and this is a magic cream. It's an instant turnaround. It moisturizes and hydrates. And again, this is Charlotte Tillsbury, the magic cream. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Charlotte Tillsbury magic cream. Okay, so next we're gonna jump right into the makeup aspects. And the first thing I do is after I put on my moisturizer, I go ahead and I apply the milk Hydro Primer. Y'all, you have been asleep on this. This is the best primer. It's a grip primer, and what it does is it holds your makeup all day. Um, it doesn't smear. It doesn't, um, you know, get out of shape. It stays put. It's a Hydro Grip Primer, and it's moisturizing, so that means it's not drying. It doesn't dry your skin out. I've been asleep on this, and Every time I try to buy it, um, they've only had the smaller sizes. I can't get the big size, so I just take what I can get. And this is what the box looks like. It's by Milk. And it is the Hydro Grip Primer Makeup Base. I have my foundation, and this is Urban Decay. It is the Urban Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation, and my color is a 70 in in. And it is Stay Naked by Urban Decay. That is my foundation. Next thing I'm really, really loving is um, oh, I forgot about this. The uh Firming peel is part of my skincare as well. It's a firming peel. It is by Peter Thomas Roth. And it's a firming peel. 
and it's an exfoliator. Once you, you put it on and you just rub it in circular motion, circular motion, and you see all the white peel come up the dead skin. And so it's a firming peel. It, ex it visibly exfoliates by rolling and lifting and sweeping away impurities. So I've been using this as part of my skincare also, and I do like it. Again, that is Peter Thomas Roth Clinical uh, Firming Peel. Okay, and then next is my concealer. And I've been using this. It's Huda Beauty. And it is in the color Crumble. It's in the color Crumble, but it's Huda Beauty. I like it because the formula doesn't cake it doesn't crease it stays put that's what it looks like that's my formula but it's really creamy and um again it's by huda beauty and it is a concealer in the color crumble so i really really like it and this has been my go-to um the price point is really good but compared to some of the other uh concealers that i've used this formula is just second to none. Uh, it's at the top of the, the uh, spectrum. Some of the other formulas, they cost more, but they crumble, they, it's just a mess. They smear, and um, so yeah. Next uh, is my highlighter. It is by Rare Beauty. This is a highlighter. And isn't that just gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. I really, really like it. Um, this is the color Flaunt. And again, it's by Rare Beauty. Okay, um, next is my mascara. It's Huda Huda Beauty. Legit Lash. I like this. I don't really do uh, falsies because I want to keep the lashes that I do have. Um, and this magnifies them. This is a two-ended. Two One end is for volume and the other end is for curl. The wand is curly on that end. And on the other end, it is straight and the bristles are really really good and they lift and separate anyway i like this i've been using it for a while um it's called huda beauty and it's legit lashes and this is a smaller one because i just wanted to try it out and uh, i really like it so next is rare beauty this is a, a liquid lipstick I'm wearing it, <laughs> and it's so cute. I really like it. It's Rare Beauty's liquid lipstick, and this is in the color Inspire. <laughs> yes, it's in the liquid lipstick. I like it. It's orange. I find myself going to it and wearing it all the time, and I, I like it. So it's one of my March favorites. Okay, this is Juvia's Blush Volume 1. And I really love this brand. I do. It's a black-owned brand. It's called Juvia's Place. Um, and her formula is, I like the formula. I like the colors. I like everything about it. So I am wearing this one at the top today. Mm. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? Mm. I like it. It's cute. So this is Juvia's Place, and it is the Blushed Volume 1 by Juvia's Place. And next on my list is like, th um, can't, can't, can't go without talking about this. This is Charlotte Tillsbury's Airbrush Finish 
setting spray. Once you put your makeup on, get your face popping, then you just spritz this on and it sets your makeup all day. So you don't have to worry about it creasing. You don't have to worry about it wiping off. So yeah, I've been using this for a while and I do like it. Um, it's called Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Hey. And again, it's by Charlotte Tillsbury. So that's one another one of my favorites. Uh, then this is just, I just love this. Um, green is just a color that, I mean, you can do so much with. And this palette I ran across, you can do so much with it because it's, Green reminds me of nature, reminds me of summer. It reminds me of just ha a happy place. So it has to be my next favorite color next to purple. But um, yeah, this is a ColourPop Fresh Greens palette. That's what it looks like, Fresh Greens palette. And these are the colors. Y'all, aren't those gorgeous? So I'm wearing this today. I am wearing this color for my dark shade. It's called Veg Out. And then in the middle, the Green Goddess is what I'm wearing for my shimmer and shine. So yeah, this is the Fresh Greens palette by ColourPop. Fresh greens. And the colors are great. It has a really nice color payout. It looks wonderful. And the liner that I'm using is NYX. And the liner, the eyeliner that I'm using is NYX. It is NYX. And it is in the color. Chartreuse Flash. Chartreuse Flash. And this is what I'm wearing as an uh, underline eyeliner. And I put a, a line at the top as well. But this is Chartreuse Flash. It's really pretty. So, yeah. Okay, so next, a um, couple more items is the beauty blender my favorite color purple we got the beauty blender and i bought these in duos and i just cannot do makeup now without using a beauty blender and it's my go-to my favorite for march i bought the this set i have several but just beauty blender is my march favorite uh but this is a uh, urban studio flawless blend Duo makeup blending sponges, and I got this from TJ Maxx, and it's only five dollars. This has a slanted one in there, and it has a rounded one in there. It has one with the slant on it, so you can get up under your eyes and in creases and things like that. But I like these beauty blenders. Um, this little set was only four four ninety nine. Okay. And it does the exact same thing that the $20 and $25 single beauty blender does. It does the exact same thing, y'all. So why am I going to spend $20, $25 for this one little sponge when I can get a set for less than $5? $4.97 for two at TJ Maxx. That's a bargain to me. Okay, so next is... Uh, my mask that I've been using, um, so I'm out of order, so forgive me, because what I plan to do, I was doing my, all uh, the skincare first, and I was going to do the makeup last, and uh, second, and then at the end, I was going to do my favorite perfume for the month of March, but anyway, uh, I've talked about this one before, I do believe, but it's a mask, it's a Peter Thomas Roth, and it is a pumpkin enzyme mask. I got this, I think, around Christmas. Um, a little goes a long, long way, so you don't really need to use very much of it. 
I mean, I'm obsessed with anything that says pumpkin. I've used it a few times. It's still pretty full and it smells amazing. It's, it smells like you could just drink it. It's so strong with this pumpkin smell, but it has pumpkin enzymes in it. And this particular mask is a uh, enzymatic dermal resurfacer. It's a three in one. Okay, it has intense skin resurfacing uh, that exfoliates with pumpkin enzymes, peels, and alpha hydroxyl acid. It polishes um, and helps reveal skin that looks smoother, younger, radiant, and revitalized. Okay, so who all don't need that? Okay, so anyway, I love this. Um, the benefits are great and it smells great. There's nothing worse than products, um, cosmetic products that stink and smell chemically and medicine-y. I don't like those. Okay, so next is my um, melting cleansing balm. This is what I use to cleanse my face. I have a two-step process. So I use this first to cleanse my face. And I put it all over my face, all over my face, and then I wash it off with warm water. And then the second step is a cleanser. And then I pat my face dry. And after I do that, then I use this, um, and this is by Sephora. This is Sephora Algae Extract, which hence is the green color. This is the green color, Algae Extract. But it's a cleansing balm. It is very good. It's a, no perfumes in it. It is a melting cleansing balm. It's unscented and 99% of the ingredients are from natural origin. It's a cleanser and balancer um, and it has its featured um, ingredients or polysaccharides from natural origin and derived from brown algae and are known for their anti-pollution properties. It has chlorella, which is a green natural origin microalgae. Uh, the formula contains uh, the chlorella, which is known to balance your skin's pH. So this is a four and it's a melting cleansing balm and I've been loving, loving, loving it. I use, use it all the time, but it's my, one of my favorites for the month of March. Next, also by Sephora, is this toner. Y'all, this toner makes my face feel so good. It is C and E vitamins. It's an ultra glow toner. It brightens and tones. Um, anything with vitamin C in it is going to be a lightener. It will lighten and brighten you. So if you can, get products that have vitamin C in it. Because again, it's something that's going to lighten and brighten you. Um, it's 96% uh, natural origin. The It's um, unscented, which it has no scent in it. Uh, first ingredient is water. And um, yeah, it feels really good. And I like it. And again, it's a four. It is an ultra glow toner. So if you can, grab you a bottle of that. Next is gonna be my deodorant that I use. Y'all, this smells so good. I also have the body wash, uh, which I should have brought also. It's one of my favorites for March. But anyway, this is the native, this is a native deodorant. And this is the Lolic and White Tea. And it's by Native. It's a deodorant that I use. It's paraben free and aluminum free. And for some reason, I don't know, we just haven't gotten it in this country yet, but in the majority of all other countries in the world, they banned aluminum in deodorant because aluminum the studies have shown that aluminum is linked to breast cancer. So why would you still put aluminum in your deodorants if aluminum is linked to breast cancer? So anyway, native, native deodorant is, has no aluminum in it and it has no parabens in it, which uh, and it smells amazing. This is good for you. 
and it smells good lilac and white tea and this is this is my March favorite so I really really like it and the, my last item that I have for March is my perfume and it's YSL Yai Saint Laurent and this is Libra Intense this is a small bottle, which is all they had. But rest assured, when that's gone, I'm going to get the big jumbo bottle because I like it that much. It smells really, really good. Uh, this fragrance is has mandarin orange in it. Okay, it has bergamot and lavender. So just those alone. But don't stop there. The heart notes are Tanzanian orange blossom, jasmine, orchid, and lavender. It's got lavender all up and through it, which is so calming, so relaxing. Um, and the base notes are intense with tonka bean, Madagascar vanilla, amberiste, and veltivir. So just know that this is worth every penny that you spend on it. Okay, it's worth every penny, y'all. It's YSL. Yai Saint Laurent Libra, and it's the intense. The other versions, the regular, and there's another version. I think there's like three versions. The other versions smell okay, they're good, but I like this intense because it has, I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent, and it has lavender all through it. You can smell it, you can smell the bergamot, you can smell the oranges, but anyway, this is my March favorite perfume for the month of March is Yai Saint Laurent Libre. So that is all I have for you today, beautiful divas. Um, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of future videos. If you give me a thumbs up, that would be great because it helps the algorithms and it lets YouTube know that you find value in what I'm offering. I'm all about beauty. I'm all about uh, being the best version of yourself that you can be. I'm all about pampering. I'm all about being a girly's girl. And I love you. I wish you much success. And until next time, remember that you are a diva. You matter and continue to shine. Bye.